Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your favorite chess channel YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing good. Great. Uh, so we got a game and they played e4, we played d6, now they played f4. Rat defense harmonist. Again, I told you guys that you guys are gonna face this opening quite a lot. Uh, so today I'm not gonna play just like the other day I played aggressively. I'm gonna play a bit, you know positionally uh, in the perk defense style so uh, i believe rat defense is kind of like uh, a combination of the uh, perk defense uh, austrian attack type of thing uh, because i later uh, studied uh, it a bit and yeah they need to play this one to make it an austrian attack so here, what are we gonna do? We since they pl haven't played this one, I'm just gonna put this uh, bishop here, tag this pawn. Uh, again, red defense harmonist is a offbeat opening. Uh, it has recently gained, uh, if I'm not wrong, recently gained a bit of popularity among club level players or. Or intermediate level players we're just focusing on development and playing methodically nothing fancy and okay uh, they have attacked our knight here uh, uh, we're not gonna take uh, because they cannot push this pawn due to our life square bishop here that's guarding so they can only take but that's all right we're just gonna retake what are we gonna do we're gonna put pressure here on this pawn how we're going to do that uh we're going to put our knight here on h5 and they have to play uh, something like you know this one maybe to defend this pawn so yeah i've got uh quite a good response uh, the last time when i posted uh rat defense harmonist uh long play game video and today luckily we have another one and um what are we gonna do now uh here we need to uh cash in now i guess yeah because if they take there take like this way we are uh Probably not take the queen, or maybe yes, or maybe castling is another option. I'll probably take the queen. So they had taken here. Now we're just gonna, uh, as you know, that in in pair defense or pierce defense, uh, black is usually a bit cramped, so exchanging pieces uh, is beneficial. So as you know, that red defense is kind of like pair defense. Oh yeah. As we are playing the pack defense style uh, just like the last game uh, I'm gonna put pressure on this undefended piece and then in the last game uh, I learned from the computer that playing here straight away is uh, is a thing or good so I'll probably do that but first let's castle uh, I'm just gonna double checking we might fianchetto our knight here fianchetto our knight here that's kind of funny uh, so how how have you guys been doing hopefully everyone is doing great here uh, in the area of the uh, uh, world where I live in it's raining currently you might even hear the background raindrop noise um, now I guess uh, I'm just gonna play here c5 and try to you know weaken these pawns if they capture this one uh we won't be worried uh, because uh, it's gonna be weakened there it's gonna weaken their queen side so capturing this pawn is not good instead they should focus on development or castling their king maybe playing here or no, they played their queen c2. Uh, let's focus on development. This knight isn't doing anything. 
So our opponent is this one uh, again is uh, is a strong opponent. Eighteen hundred thirty-four. This is gonna be a good game, I believe. Thank you guys for subscribing to Chess Journal YouTube channel. Those of you who are new to this channel, please, please, please consider subscribing. And your subscription is the only thing that is motivating me to come up with all these instructive contents. And as you have said, that a lot of you guys have said or told me that you guys are being benefited with these contents. And uh, um, sorry, guys, I'm uh, thinking a bit. So they are attacking our Lysker Bishop. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna play here, attack the Queens. If they do on Passant, uh, our Knight is bad here. So we are simply gonna capture the Pawn, again attack the Queen, and as well as defend the Bishop. So we're gonna uh, watch out that this pawn is our weak pawn and they do not have any weak pawns. Who is doing better here? Uh, I don't know. I think it's equal-ish. Now we will take this pawn. They have a check though here. Let's see. If they give a check, we will tuck our king here on the dark square or maybe here. Uh, there is a discovery though. Um, that, that's not going to help because this bishop is unguarded, so it's not working. So what do we do? Yeah, we have a weak pawn here, right? So I'm just going to play e5 because our knight, this knight is guarding this one. Tag the queen. Okay, they can, they have this one to do this. But there, we're going to be opening up their king. Also also get rid of our weak pawn. So that's one of the strategies I imply in my games. Like, if, for example, uh, if you have weak pawns, try to get rid of that, even if that cost uh, some kind of sacrifice. So already the game has turned quite interesting. Yeah, that's what they did. Uh, no, no, there's no point of you know taking here and further weakening this uh, structure. So we're just gonna take their queen, and once they take our queen, we are going to take with this rook. So if they take here, I mean, I think I mean giving this check is good for them. I can see first before doing something here. So if they take, uh, this pawn is going to be a potential target. How are they going to defend this pawn? I mean, this pawn when it comes here, right? Clockwise speaking, we're doing all right. Uh, and I've been playing a lot of bullet games. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my bullet contents. Uh, the problem with bullet chess is that, like, uh, you don't have much of a time to think at all. I mean, like, you don't have any time to think at all. What do you do? Just play with your instinct. Always only look for check captures, um, threats for pin. That's what I always look for in bullet chess. Nothing fancy. Uh, the, what is the purpose of that move? The knight can only come here, I can see, but that's, you know, that's inviting trouble for them. Uh, we can attack this rook, right, with our bishop, so let's do that. 
Uh, we will think about capture later on. First, uh, we always look for check captures fret. So this is a fret. So rook g1 is played. Mm, now we need to think about something. Should we take, if we take, they're gonna activate their rook. And now this pawn is weak, right? Okay, let's dive in, attack that pawn. And if they take this pawn, we will probably be activating this rook, making sure that there is no fork or something. So let's, I, I guess I, we can pre-move this. So we gotta be a bit careful that any crazy knight jump they might have. I think we are now doing better, a lot better, because uh, our developments are, have finished and their their position is now cramped. This rook is doing nothing. This knight doesn't have any good squares to jump into. Okay, so they want to um, exchange light square bishop. So do we do that? Uh, what do we always do? We always look for check, captures, fret, pin, and fork. So this is a pin, right? So let's do that. This is a pin. How are they going to defend these? How are they going to defend this pin? And that is th isn't that a blunder? So did you guys notice that we we always uh, think these uh, seven things: uh, check, captures, pin, fork, fret. What is our opponent latest move doing and not doing? And undefended, undefended or unguarded pieces in both uh, our camp and in opponent camp. So these are the seven things that we always look for, and that's how we are winning majority of the games. And this is the thing that, yeah, this checkmate, checkmate is around the corner. The king goes here, and this so. Uh, that's the reason why they have resigned. So that was a very uh, short and sweet victory in, uh, they resigned where? In move 20. So in in 20 moves, we have again crossed the rat defense harmonist. Uh, should we analyze the game? Yeah, why not? Let's see. Computer probably is gonna say that we have made millions of uh, mistakes uh, yeah all right thank you computer because we are not computers we are just human beings okay so e4 we played d6 f4 c computer always said that that's an inaccuracy and we played g6 again computer doesn't like it it says that e5 playing e5 is better last time it said c5 was better okay so thank you stockfish not a free inaccuracy hc Okay, we played bishop h6, and that's a mistake. Why? c5 is better. Okay, I don't understand. d4, knight f6, e5. Now, computer likes when we played here, knight h5. g3 is an inaccuracy. Knight c3, yeah, letting go of this pawn was better for them. d5, f e5, inaccuracy. Knight e5 was better. Okay, taking with the knight was better. Now we uh, captured their um, bishop. Queen captures. Now here, castled. And c3 was a mistake. Better was bishop g2 here. Yeah, because we ganged up over here soon. And then this one, okay, this move c5 is a good move. As you can see here, computer is telling, thank you Stockfish, thank you very much. Uh, Stockfish has said that this was a good move. Queen C2, 
and knight c6 queen e4 inaccuracy and slightly better was dc5 uh, dc5 was better f5 again f5 was a good move we played thank you very much stockfish uh computer really loved this uh ef6 on passant knight f6 queen f4 mistake uh, queen e3 was better and yeah why why they put the queen here you know setting uh, you know diving in uh discovery cd4 knight d4 that was a blunder bishop c4 check yeah we talked about it during the game this check was good for them they missed it and e5 yeah that was a good move and that is a good move as you can see stockfish is telling us that is a good move we found it during the game game we talked about it we always look for frets this was a real threat setting up a threat and as well as you know this the king is uh staying here um against our open file so yeah they played the rat defense but they didn't play it well or rather we played it well and yeah from this point in time uh uh okay nice c6 the only move a boy is getting crushed okay we're not uh rook f e8 yeah again this one was a good move so yeah so uh so the avoiding mate was still losing okay g4 so there's checkmate around the corner we show it on the on the board so yeah thank you guys for tuning in it was a long play, play game but our opponent didn't handle it properly and we crushed them um in no time so i'm gonna stop it right now here and how is your chess going guys let me know down in the comment section below and take care of yourself till the next time bye bye